Tyler and Maggie Heath, welcome to E-Town. Thank you for having us. Yeah, so glad you guys could join us. So um, I told, uh, what's the age difference between the two of you? Um, almost four years. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Just about mm -hmm. four. And, uh, and, and you've gotten along most of your childhood and adult life? Yeah, I mean, as well as siblings get along, I'd say. <laughs> yeah. we, we weren't the bickering, fighting type very much. Yeah. No. Yeah, so most of the time. Most yeah. of the time, yeah. Do you have other siblings too? Just us. Mm -hmm. Just you guys, okay. So you, so you dove in, and did you have, uh, uh, did you share musical heroes when you were kids? Um, yes, mostly because anything that Tyler listened to, I thought was the coolest thing, so oh. I listened to it. <laughs> I was the cool older brother? Yeah. Except, not really, she just thought that. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> no, no part of my life, uh, I guess up until any of this, could be considered cool, so. <laughs> More, more, nerd, more nerd than cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I just had you fooled. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's the halo of sibling affection, older sibling affection. It's good. Um, and was your household kind of a musical one when you were growing up? Was there creativity around? Yeah, it was, um, it was very musical. Our mother was the daughter of a band director, so she grew up doing music and taught us to do music as well. And our dad, when he realized we were musical, thought, hmm, maybe I should do that too so <laughs> family well, band yeah. Yeah, yeah picked it back up really I mean he was a musician when he was younger and mm -hmm. then I guess it fell off for a while mm -hmm. but then uh, yeah I think our our musical upbringing was I mean we were both in band at least for a while and you did choir some we took um, piano for a we took piano <laughs> not <laughs> whether we wanted to or not <laughs> yeah not necessarily of our own will we were kind of roped into that one that yeah. one and uh like playing in uh, in church mm -hmm. was the other thing that yeah. uh, I mean can't com I, I don't want to complain about it because you know I think it led to where we are now but yeah. it was not necessarily our choice right in the at least <laughs> in the beginning yeah <laughs> but you probably got some skills out of it in terms of learning about harmony and 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 chord structure and things absolutely like that. and this is all in San Marcos Texas um, we're based in San Marcos now um, we grew up about an hour south of Houston yeah, dead south so oh, like wow. 20 minutes from the coastline yeah and right towards yeah. Galveston kind of. um, yeah at, in the county seat of our county but beyond that not really anywhere uh, particularly notable just kind of small town upbringing yeah um, but then I went away to college and you went to college in San Marcos mm -hmm. I went to the University of Texas in Austin um, <laughs> Oh yeah, oh, all right. Okay. <laughs> That's always a surprise. Good, good to good to see you. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, and then we relocated to San Marcos because uh, of all the people. Th really, you first mm -hmm. that you met first in the San Marcos yeah. area, and uh, eventually yeah. gathered into this and big group we have here now. <laughs> it's a college town, uh, kind of a growing college town. Home more and more so, a college town. Yes, yeah. <laughs> home of football and barbecue and things like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you guys. And us, and us. Like, I yeah. guess. <laughs> yeah, last on the list is appropriate. Yeah. <laughs> so speaking of slightly nerdy things, your new CD, Dear Wormwood, yes. mm -hmm. um, inspired by, uh, among other things, a couple of authors. Yes. Right, C.S. Lewis and Patrick Rothfuss. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, All right. So this is, uh, this is you know, worlds of um, uh, fantasy and battles of good and evil, and this kind of <laughs> sets up the... the Storyline for the for the album. Yeah um, Although I think uh, on a much more personal scale like yeah. not uh, Inspired by yeah, yeah uh, like I not as big of a battle between good and evil Maybe as like the Lord of the Rings or anything like that <laughs> Not quite that far right, right. Uh, Not that quite f not quite that far into fan fiction. I would say <laughs> <laughs> right or, or full-on nerddom, but yeah um, Or it is I don't <laughs> Hush back there. I can hear you. <laughs> uh, the band is getting restless. They're, they're confirming your nerdiness. Is that what was happening? Yes. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Um, yeah, I, I don't necessarily uh, wear my nerdiness on my sleeve, but I uh, don't try and hide it. That's yeah. just it's a big part of who I am. But, <laughs> but, you're, a, but you're an avid reader growing up. You read oh, yeah, still. Yeah. I, yeah. I've, I've read at least two books just on this leg of tour in the last week and a half. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm so sorry, that was a little brag. <laughs> I read a lot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you like that. I was so worried. 
That's the beautiful thing about the new paradigm in music, which is this audience is self-selecting. So you're going to find these people that really are like you That's in your right. audience. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. That's great. Um, so did you write the songs sort of in a, in a song cycle as a, as a, like an arc, like, a, like an opera or like a, like a cohesive story? Or were they just songs that came together in different ways and you found that they fit together? Um, a little of both. Yeah, a little of both. I think um, both this album and the previous one, we sort of knew that we wanted it to have that that character arc throughout mm -hmm. the entire piece. And so it kind of came about after we realized a couple songs in, oh, wait a second, there's these are a all story here. Right, these, oh, these cool. fit the same narrative arc. Yeah. Um, yeah, and so once we once we realized that that was what was happening, um, we just really I think both times when we realized, oh yeah, okay, so this is going to be a narrative, we just embraced it and yeah. worked to make that work. Yeah, there is a obviously a sort of a, uh, an internal dialogue and a, an um, introspection and self examination and uplifting in many cases that some of the songs is that sort of how you. Is that what inspires you when you're when you're feeling poetic? Is that the language that comes to you, sort of? Um, I especially, um, it, I, I try and write very encouragingly. Maybe not every single word or every phrase is. Uh, that's not necessarily always encouraging at that small of a scale. But overall, I always want to leave the listener uplifted, mostly because that's what I want out of music. Mm -hmm. um, I, I say it a lot, but when I write music, it's almost like pep talks for myself um, and then hopefully you know for other people as well yeah. but well it, it starts with me it starts just with me yeah yeah <laughs> well you know what it's an interesting thing because when you find a connection to an audience and when they do feel that um, invitation to you know feel feel better or it's going to be okay um, that can create a really deep personal connection between the listener and, and the artist I suspect I don't know if you get mail to that effect or not, or feedback. I, I would hope. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Did you get some feedback like that from some of the people who are listening to your songs? We have. Yeah. Yeah, which is very meaningful. Yeah. We really appreciate it. Yeah. In case you've just tuned in, you're listening to E Town here with the Oh Hellos from Texas. So the song started in your house, in your in your bedroom or your basement or whatever, right? You have uh -huh. a little recording, Rick. Um, yeah. I. Uh, <laughs> we do everything kind of. A little weird. Um, we started out recording just on my, uh, so we don't use uh, an Apple computer. We use a PC, which I think is uh, yeah. deviation number mm -hmm. one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, I. Did you build it from a kit? Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> um, I actually started out not. Uh, recording uh i started my musical journey uh in more like the electronica realm uh so my introduction to music software was uh it's fl studio now but by, when i first got my hands on it it was fruity loops <laughs> so, <laughs> um but i got a, lo a looping software that you yeah. could build you know right. like a, like a proto ableton kind of a thing or something. yeah yeah and uh at the time it was nowhere near uh, suited for the kind of work we use it for now, but the program has uh, kind of evolved over time, uh, fortunately with yeah. what I was doing and then what we have been doing. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, so we have that and um, kind of a, I guess kind of a low to mid end mixer. And when mm -hmm. we started, it was uh, mics a lot like this, uh, <laughs> sure, SM58s. Um, we've kind of, We've upgraded we've, a we've little. A, a little bit. Yeah. We've um, got a preamp. But what, you're, what I'm getting is that it's a relatively lo-fi rig. Yes. And, yeah. And that, that we, works fine. We do, we, we do the best that we can with it. We kind of make the most of what we have. Yeah. Um, but again, uh, before we started writing and recording together, I had been by trial and error learning how to make anything at all pleasing to listen to yeah. come out of that setup. Yeah. Um, so I had had some practice when we started, and even yeah. since we've started, um, I feel like our sound has uh, had, it's had a lot of room to grow and has <laughs> yeah. done that, you know, well, some. You've, you've done a lot of, I mean, this is dense production, lots of layers, lots of pieces and parts, lots of thought about arrangements and voicings and different instrument sounds, and it's, it's not, um, 
it's not simplistic, despite oh. your technology. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. yeah, we try. Yeah, no, it's good. I mean, was, was the song for your mom, that birthday present for your mom, was that the first thing, literally, that you guys did collaborate it on in terms of recording? Was that like um, the early experiment? I, it's the first one that I can remember. I'm sure, I mean, since we grew up doing music all the time, there were plenty of things that we collaborated yeah. on, but that was the first thing that we wrote together. Yeah. And, um, yeah. Inspired by, am I getting the story right, by the, the guy at 7 p.m. who comes out of the pub in Ireland, pretty wasted, <laughs> yes. and goes right beeline to your mom. Right. And well, says... Um, yeah, he did. Uh, the first words out of his mouth were, oh, hello, will you have a drink with me? Which right. is where the, the name came from. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so happy birthday, mom. Right, happy birthday. <laughs> So I, <laughs> she's reminded of that happy occurrence every time she hears <laughs> exactly. about your band now. Apparently it doesn't bother her very yeah. much, yeah. which is great, yeah. but yeah. Well, um, it's, it's a remarkable homespun uh, success story. I've heard you've been courted by all kinds of managers and labels and people wanting to get in on the action. <laughs> yeah. And, and uh, <laughs> we, I, t we, um, not, Really intentionally, but at first, um, especially after we had finished Through the Deep Dark Valley and that had been released for a couple of months, um, we got a lot of emails from a lot of different people in the industry and our strategy was basically to just pretend we weren't home. <laughs> uh, we didn't really answer almost anything um, and it's only, it took a long time for us to really be willing to step into uh, that whole world. And I think even now there are still a lot of things that we're very leery of. A lot um, of emails unopened and still. On. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. and we have help now. Um, we, we did finally, um, I don't want to say give in, but we found people we could, we felt mm -hmm. like we could trust and that we felt a connection with yeah. as people, as, as, as individuals and human beings, um, which made us feel a lot better about working with them in a business capacity. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was a fun time. I think, that has kind of slowed because we have more or less rounded out a team that we work with now. Right. They know you're unresponsive and uncooperative, so they've backed off. I think at first, yeah. we weren't really intending it to be uh, this way, but at first I think we came off as very mysterious, um, which is fine. Yeah. I, everybody has to have an image, I guess. And yeah. yeah. I think the more that we play live, our audiences get less of that and more that just, we're just ridiculous, silly people <laughs> who... It, write music that we enjoy and want to share, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, it's it's uh, it's great. It's not. It's it's the opposite of a cautionary tale. This is a, the, the story of somebody whose whose ambition is so uh, connected to the, the the art and craft that you're involved with that the other stuff is really truly irrelevant. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter to you, obviously. So because it's working. Yeah. yeah. It's going okay. Yeah. It's. I, w I would say it's going okay. <laughs> Um, I know you, we've got lots more music to get to. Anything else you want to uh, let people know about that, that's going on in your world these days that um, is, is important? The new CD, again, is, is called Dear Wormwood, mm -hmm. and uh, I suspect it's coming out on vinyl as well. I think that's the plan. It is the plan. Yeah. It's the plan, yeah. but we are not good at plans, <laughs> I so heard we'll there's see. A, even some talk about actually making the jacket out of Wormwood. That's that would be that something, yeah. yes. Yeah. I don't, Dangerous, maybe. Yeah. Don't they make poisons out of wormwood? They make poisons, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so well, maybe not. Maybe not. That. We'll mark it. <laughs> yeah. Caution. Yeah. This might parental advisory. You. Right. Yeah. There it is. Of a whole new stripe. Yeah. <laughs> I'm. Uh, I'm always encouraged when there are a smart, talented, and creative people who have fun making joyous music, and it works. So that's the case. You guys, congratulations, Thank Tyler you. and Maggie Heath. Let's get back to music with the Oh Hellos. <laughs> Hi, this is Nick Forster from E-Town. If you want to stay up to date with all the performances, interviews, and behind-the-scenes footage, click the subscribe button. Thanks. <laughs>